what's up youtube what's up everybody welcome back to return of cnc my name is Yuriton muteva and this is part two of the k tutorial that we just did the designing of a solid model that will be used on our cnc programming and in this video i will show you how to do the cnc programming for the machining of that solid model that we just did right so without wasting time and without further ado, let us see what we can do. Right, so we're going to be doing the CNC programming. We're going to do our programming into HCAM. And by the way, guys, I do use Mastercam also to do some programming and HCAM, right? So the first thing is to do is go to the uh, open a new part, load our part, which is actually a face cavity. Uh, insert blah 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 open one second it's gonna open right so my computer's a little bit slow but guys please bear with me and uh, yeah in the meantime while the pass is busy loading if you're new to this channel guys please subscribe like leave a comment and share this video for more video like this right so once our part is open just go to dynamic and then we actually trying to set up our coordinates our zero positions of the job right so to do that we just go there machining select that oh sorry man what's, what's going on here pop pop into getting the center we apple bar out and by the way guys you'll see that uh the, the, the designing the second body that we just did is actually not the same as it is right now in uh, HCAM on our CAM system it's because I just extend a little bit the edges which we call the leading and the lead out for our cutter right but we didn't do but if you want to do it and actually in solid works you just go under more surfaces and then you offset by your own leading that you want your cutter to actually start away from finish and then um, and then and starting right so to do that all right so let us continue for programming we load our center we load our block already in the center and by the way guys when you're doing cnc programming trying to always work from the center so that everything can be easy in case you've got a problem right so everything center zero x y zero z zero let us now use our stock our stock is just a rough block that you actually set up on the machine and you're trying to work out something out of that block that's what you call stock is actually a piece of block like this and you want to cut all those details that you're seeing on our block so it's actually two pop, 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 pop. then you've got something like that right and you can see our stock in initially is actually like that then from there then we're going to try to actually shape it Try to work out all those details inside, drilling the bottom, pop, 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 right. So we got our stock set up and secondly to do is you need to select which machine are you going to do this job. And talking about the machine, that's where we're actually looking at CNC programmer, what we call post-processor. A post-processor is just a commander of the cnc program it just in other way is the brain of a cnc machine because that's what tells the machines to move x a certain distance to move y z at a certain distance so with that the post processor you're never gonna do anything uh you know you know you know you know with your programming right so after selecting then to select your post processor in hcam you just go under create sequence and then down there should pop up all your post processor that you already install but if you guys you really need me to actually show you and talk more about the post processor or how to install a post processor in mastercam in hcam just leave a comment and ask me anything ask me anything i'm already five years i'm going to my six years now experience in this field so i know quite a little bit on designing and then CNC programming using Mastercam and HCAM. So please guys, I want your comment. I really need your comment. Leave your comment. I'm talking about you. Listen to me right now and watch this video. Please leave any comment. 
put a comment ask me anything about cnc programming ask me anything about hkm about mastercam about solidworks just leave a comment please guys and on top of that subscribe and leave a comment please i need a comment i need your comment all right so to select your post processor you just look can pick up any i've got it out i've already installed quite a lot of it post processor that i'm using for some machine then in this case for this tutorial i'm gonna use this lead in the lead in post processor is actually for um, cnc's or uh, looks like this one doesn't want to open okay maybe i'm gonna take uh let's get a meal why does it want to open guys oh see tech no i'm gonna just take i'm gonna just take my my leading okay i'm gonna select my leading wow so it's busy loading busy loading our post processor into a program uh, yeah guys so as i keep on saying again please leave a comment just say something ask me anything and i'll come back to you i'll try to answer whenever i got time i do post upload every week one or two video for case tutorial and cam tutorial right so after getting uh having our post processor or our cnc machine loading in second thing to do we need to select which tool are we going to use the cutter that we're going to use so in this case i'm gonna use a 50 rsx with a 0 0.8 radius for multi-trade mr bichi that's cutter i'm telling you guys those cuts are so amazing they're never gonna go wrong with this cutter they're so higher accurate class tip cutters and then uh, saving more time and they just good they just good i've been using for the past three or four years now i never go wrong i never have a problem with those one right so after having that so we got everything set and ready to go so the first thing to do is let us put off right so the first thing to do is we've got our surface that we actually want to machine right through from the point and machine everything with a cutter and do the length so what we're gonna do is we're gonna machine all those surfaces which is actually one surface from the side then come again on this side machine all those surfaces that are just thick after finish then do the length the flat length so do the length one time and finish with one cutter you understand so it's actually becoming so easy than having our path the way it was before with all those cut out in the pocket right so for the first thing you do is we're gonna just go under no 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 before going that we actually we've got our surfaces right but we need to tell the cutter to stay in a certain regions of boundaries we want the cutter to stay somewhere like i don't want my cutter to go out of that boundary so we need to put our boundary and to put the boundary it's easy just go to features and then uh, pop select body and you select the surface that you want to make body so i want my cutter to actually stay inside those surface and i'll create a surface i'll create my boundaries out of those surfaces pop pop boom 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 go that side also boom boom come that side there's one this one collect this one select this one select this one also select this one select also this one and uh, already select the bottom one boom so we can see that this actually we got already our boundary so if we're gonna try to add our solid model you can see that this is actually our boundary that we just made i can try to change the color of that uh, boundary let me make it yellow so that we don't have any confusions but you can see it's yellow and then uh, i can make my stock to be red right this is my stock 
centers rebuild. Why is it giving me something like that? Well, it's not a problem. Then come go back to our model. Go back. So oh right. So we've got our boundary, we've got our surface, then we can select some machining to do on our parts. To do that, just go under profiling, which go profile milling. It takes a little bit more time to actually then after loading. So we do surfaces, then uh, we do surface. And we'll do surface, actually pick surface to machine. Optimize so it's actually I want to use under a milling type you can use a clamping conventional or optimize optimize you want actually your cutter to stay in contact with your surface and then moving up and down cupping both sides so we leave it optimized and the, the speeds already calculate the speed sometimes and then uh it's when it's come now to feeding speeds guys. You need to know which type of material that you're in. You can't set up your feeding speed the same with all the type of material that you're using. We're using copper, we're using brass, we're using musty, we're using stainless steel, we're using aluminum. We do uh, tool steel. Like, by the way, like what the type of job that I'm doing and all my programming since almost like six years or five years I've been doing programming. I've been doing a lot of programming on the tool steel. The tool steel is the type of material that we're using here in South Africa for injection molding, for other types. So because it's actually a little bit more tougher and hardened. Those harden of those uh, tool steel go sometimes to 60 or 55, 60 records. So they are very strong. And the benefit of those tool steel is just like they are very resistant. And, uh, and very uh, nice polishing, give you a very nice polishing. And yeah, so if you guys want me to make a video about the toasty, about the type of material that you want to know, and then uh, just leave a comment, and then I'll just make a video and see if I can make a video and come back to you. So for this tool, for this toasty that I'm actually using, I'm gonna use my feed at 2000 and my uh, feed rate at uh, 1000. 500 it should be fine. You can take it off or make it 1,000. I don't know if it's going to give me a problem, but sometimes always tell me something else. So my retract finish, finish at the clearance. I don't want it to be a leaker. I'm going to make it 20. Retract, I'm going to make it 5. Level. Level sometimes you can make it to 0, but I always play a little bit safe so that I can see how is my program behaves, right? So it's actually start cutting a little bit away from my zero point. So it's actually away from material. So it doesn't cut directly on the material. So that I can see that my program is right or wrong. Then I can modify or stop it and change it. Right, so the tool control, I can just make it center. So I want my tool to be in the center. And then uh, auto smooth, I can just leave it that way. I think everything is right. Lead in, lead out, I can just leave it there. And then um, lead out. Leave it that side. I want it to be straight, optimized, self distance. Then it's right. Boom. Then I ask me to select the surface that I want to use. Collect this one, this one, go that side. This one, boom, boom. Got my boundary, boom, boom. Wow. Yes, so guys. You can see already the two paths have been creating and it's actually taking me almost like um, it's gonna take me almost what the time almost like two minutes right because it's actually it's very long so i want to make it by the way if you want to check the timing you can just go there here and then and uh and uh, i think information how do you check your time um verification go under verify yeah verify and then uh circle time there we go 
So the second time is going to tell you that uh, two minutes was actually two minutes, almost like three, seven, three minutes, right? Two minutes, 58 seconds. But if you want to do it in the normal way, you will see that you will spend a lot of time. Do this, retract, go that side, duck and go that side. By doing that, so just actually use that surface, all those four surfaces as one big surface and use your cutter to stay in contact of the surface right from the top, in contact of the surface again, once with a cutting cream and every time, every time, every time reaching the top retract once come again to this side from zero depth of cut cut depth of cut get to the top and right so we can see a very very nice very nice tool path that it is and then cutting once reaching that then gone down go that side so then you can actually try to change if you want to change mm. whoa, 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 whoa. I think I can just go a little bit smaller here. Can I go 0 0.25? 0 0.0800. Boom. Gonna go. Uh, go right. It's gonna tell us exactly what's going on there. Uh, I think I went. I went. I think I went somewhere. Right, so we got that. So we got that. I was just double checking why it's actually going down there because remember we actually uh, we actually thicken our part by 0.2 bigger on the sense. So that's actually what's happened. But uh, everything should be fine. We can double check it after do the machining, and then uh, we can also do the same thing. To do the same thing, you can just. Uh, to do the same thing on the other side, you're gonna just come this side, select that one, and bring it down. Leave it going, then we're actually great. So we're gonna only maybe change, uh, change the surface. So we say we don't want the cutter to actually the cut again the surface, but we want now the other surface that side. Let's turn it that way. Make it this one, this one, bap. Boom, boom. Bring it that side. Boom, boom, boom. We see keeping the same boundary, so there's no need to change the boundary. Regenerate. Then we've got something like that, right? That's very nice. So you can see your tool path very nice on both sides so the same so it's actually machining this side to up and down up and up and down up and down i can even try to simulate it and try to see how the cut how the machining will be loading a little bit just bear with me guys my machine is a little bit maybe down so my simulations and then i can put them Where's my simulations? Uh, stay there. Go down. Boom. So you can see the simulations of how the cutter stay in contact. So this is actually basically what we want. We want our cutter to stay in contact with our surface. Oh, what am I doing now? Sorry guys, sorry guys. Yeah, so I was saying we actually want the cutter to stay in contact with our surface. 
we'll start cutting from the top of our cutting cream and until to reach the bottom and then retract check what's gonna happen after reaching the bottom can try to accelerate it a little bit boom boom so do want we actually want that and you're gonna see that it's gonna save you a lot of time right boom 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 where's the simulation again okay. no simulation should be there So it's already jumped that day. Okay, guys, so we actually got what you are looking for. And then the next things we're going to do is go to the machine that side or machine also that side. And then the next things we're going to do is after finish that, we can just, that was actually the pre, the semi finishing. We can actually uh, do the fi finishing, just copy both two from that side to the other side. And then where we actually select to make it on an offset, now we can actually run it to our zero offset. So just come out of offset, make it zero. Okay. Gonna regenerate. Ready. Go again down there. Under offset. Under offset, make it zero. Okay all right so that's actually our final part that's actually the final purpose the final that we actually wanted to do this and then what the next thing is to do is because we just finished we just finished to do the machining on the surfaces on the side surfaces and the last thing to do is just to do the flat land. We just want to make the flat to be actually completely the same and finish this, the flat completely. Because those flat, those flat land is actually a shut off of something. It's actually a shut off of other things. So if those flat are not actually the same or the same height, it can, it will always create a problem with uh, your shut off of the mold and some insect because remember injection injection molding part are those parts that always come in contact with each other so they need to be always 100 percent right sorry guys i'm really sorry for what i just did now and then the last thing to do is gonna just do now the land the flat land in the bottom here right so to do the flat land we just go to circle meeting flat land We've got everything there. Wait a little bit until it's low. The same feed, same speed. We want to actually make it zero also. Our step over, step over it's how far the cutter is moving from the previous machining. So we're gonna make it maybe because it's actually too expect too big. So I can make it 40%. It's not a problem. And then uh, I'm gonna do uh, a concentric. I'm gonna do a solid, and then I'm gonna just make it optimize. Keep the cutter down, and then stop a little bit from there. I'm gonna say uh, I wanna start by minus one millimeter from there. Stop there. Everything kicking, kicking. So it's gonna pick up the depth at which where is the flat line, and then keep it inside. Other finished part, lead in, lead out. I just want to make it that way. Oh, can I make a length of uh, six and a region of three? Should be fine. Okay, if you need, make it straight. Boom. Feature to machine. That one. And my boundary. Pump that one. Why is actually so? Tell me that. Okay, okay, we go back again.
this is my boundary okay let's restart again sometimes my program is giving problem headache anyway it's not a problem we can do it again do, 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 do. please guys once again if you're watching this video please subscribe like and leave me a comment just put a comment just ask any question they i'll come back to you and answer it so got 40 for uh, the depth we still got my nice one and the clearance of so 50 should be fine control one my color to be inside the linear should be fine control the everything should be nice so like our smarter control boom mm, give a second again for the two path to generate take a second again to go boom this is actually everything is finished and if you want to actually double check what we just do just let's first serve it serve it and go under simulation we should have everything ready for simulations why is giving that because Okay, we're gonna add gonna add all those things here and then we delete that. So we go again down there on the linear. We're gonna actually uh actually select like make another uh, stock then go back again regenerate let's give a second after it finished mm. there we go and then we can go under simulations this time should be fine, All right? So under there, we're gonna see your block inside. Everything smooth. You can go there. You can see how it's cutting. Click down there, jumping there, there. Cutting also the runner finishing. Go back again for the finishing. And after finish, then start now. Do the flat length inside inside one side 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 sideways sideways and once it's finished boom guys that's actually uh what i want to show you and teach you how you find it so interesting and helpful if you actually also in this field of uh, cnc programming and uh please as I keep on saying again, leave a comment and then uh, share this video, subscribe. I'll come back again to you. So this is basically the CNC programming of this one. And the reason we tend to do it is we tend to actually be accurate on our CNC programming. You really need to be accurate under your machining. And please guys, don't just rush out when you've got a path to machining and when you just having a, uh, any cam system you just want to go to the you gotta sit down try to analyze what really need to be done on this job and then what i can do you need to have a nice approach strategy to actually go with to do the job right all right now we finish with our programming we can now uh simulate and double check if everything is right to do so we just want to make it isometric and then after that we can just go under simulations and then uh, make it isometric symmetric boom make it a little bit of 50 percent make it play um 
we should be ready to go. Why does it not go? Why does it not play? Call the finish. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's already going to put actually press pause and do everything. Right. Sorry. Alright, so make it see true. Oh, make it all thing 50%. There we go. Boom. 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 Boom 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 boom. Finish that side. Go again for the finish. Again for the finishing side. Keep on doing the finish. Nice guys. Going on other side. Keep on doing that. See cutting. Reaching the bottom. Now we start cutting the flat land as we said. You understand? So it's actually doing everything at once. So we're actually doing the finishing on the, uh, the edge surfaces and do the flat land finishing on the bottom. Uh, boom. Voila. Everything just finished one time. Then you can go on the other step. Right? So we appear about our simulations and then we appear about our program and we lock it. So we can see how does it look after do on the machine, what is actually happening on the real life in the machine after do the programming, right? So I think I've got one of the video here, I think I can double check somewhere there. Right, so this actually happening there. I think it's not that video. I think it's just one. No. Oh, just one, right? No, 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 it's actually this one. Oh, this one? Right. So let us now double check and see everything how it's happening. So the cutter countdown with a leading length. There we go, we start cutting. But in reality, we don't have all those that second body that we just create in SolidWorks, right? We don't have actually that second body that we create in SolidWorks. We just only have those four surfaces. But now the cutter will actually machine the everything is one surface at once right as you can see what's happening there so the cutter is actually cutting one side both leading out go that side then just forward it so quick lead in go again that side lead out so, only. so that's what the lack of me talking There you can see our eye to where the cutter. So we actually need to go four millimeter, but right now we are actually on 1.65, right? Go back again, leading with the out. Go back again on the material. I think that's it. I think I've got another video. 2072. Where we're cutting now the length. I think it's not this one. Oh, sorry, man. That's not my thing. Wow. This is actually another video where actually now we start cutting the line. Go that side. Cutting that side. What 
about this one? Mm, what about this one? And this one. The same, cutting the flat line. There's another side where it's cutting the other side. This is cutting now, scratching on the other side, touching the flow now. I think I should have something on the flat line. Wow, yeah, because the shaving was actually biting. Now we're actually doing the the flat land. As you can see, now busy cutting the flat land, cutting that side, going that side again, cutting that side. We're still machining the flat land. Go down there, go that side. Voila. We're still on the flat line. Boom. I think we're gonna finish it on that side. Boom. We'll track it again from that side. See again that house actually now. And the finishing in the middle. On that side. Come the side again. We're still on the flat line again. Boom. Boom. Cut the track, go down. That's actually the finish inside now. Huh? As you can see, there's a flat line. Actually, this is the flat line. We're actually blowing all the shavings away so that we actually don't aim ourselves. Side. So as I was saying, guys, like uh, that's tool, the tips tool from Mr. Beach is the ISX. The very, very, very tool that you never go wrong with this tool. Very accurate, and then uh, boop, that will really track. Send the tool back home. Check how beautiful is that tool. Check how beautiful is our machining. Boom. Right. So guys, uh, that's it. So I just show you exactly. We now actually finish our part two of the video, the CNC programming of what we just designed. And then I show you some uh, real video of the CNC job that we just done. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And if you're new to this video, please subscribe share like and please leave a comment write down a comment ask me anything about what you not know what you like to know and any question that you've got in mind about uh, hcam about the uh, programming about some g code about uh, anything that you've got in mind i'll try to come back to you i really need your comment because it's from your comment that we're gonna grow this channel and we want to grow this channel. We want to give everybody opportunity to actually become who you wanna be. I know there is a lot of people out there, they're actually thinking, they're actually dreaming of being a CNC programmer, a, a designer or something like that. I'm there for you, bro, I understand. So if you wanna learn something, just give me a comment, give me a call and those that know me from, locally give me a call i'm there available for you 
and guys thank you for watching keep again subscribe keep watching share and yeah boom thank you very much see you for the next video as i said i'm actually upload every single week two or one video for one for cat tutorial and another one for the cam tutorial so yeah guys thank you very much